In this video, we will show you how to set up your Elgato Wave DX, including mounting to microphone arms and multi-mount, connecting it to your Wave XLR or other audio interface, and configuring your audio settings to get started using it. Inside of the packaging for Elgato Wave DX, you will find Wave DX, a mono swivel mount, which is pre-installed on Wave DX, a 1 quarter to 3 8 adapter, and a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter. This allows it to be mounted to all of the mainstream microphone mounts, and a quick start guide. Note that you will need an XLR cable to connect Wave DX to some sort of audio interface, such as Wave XLR. We have our own 10 foot XLR cable available on Elgato.com. First step in setting up Wave DX is to connect it to some sort of mount. Wave DX does not stand by itself like Wave 1 or Wave 3, so you will need a mounting solution. To connect to Wave MicArm or Wave MicArm LP, you will need both included adapters to be installed in the mono swivel arm, as this allows it to be mounted to quarter inch threads. It can be mounted on our mounting system or your own microphone arm. Next, depending on how you have your Wave DX mounted, the Elgato badge might be facing the wrong direction. To reposition it, you can either use something flat and flexible, like a guitar pick, or use two fingers on either side of the badge and lift up with your fingernails. You can also reposition the mono swivel mount to the opposite side. There are identical threads on either side of Wave DX. Loosen and remove the screw holding the mount, remove the Elgato badge, and reattach the mount. Now to connect everything up. Wave DX uses an XLR cable connection. This is a purely analog connection that is very robust and is found on all sorts of professional audio hardware. XLR cables are keyed and can only be inserted one way. Line up the pins and insert until you hear a click. The connector, which is inserted into Wave DX, has a clip that prevents the cable from coming out easily. Same principle on the other side for your interface. Though there may not be an audible click, just press it in firmly. Wave DX is a dynamic microphone, which means that unlike condenser microphones, it does not need phantom power. If you are using Wave XLR, you can toggle phantom power on or off by pressing and holding the large dial for two seconds. Or uncheck the phantom power option inside of Wavelink. The process for other audio interfaces will vary, so be sure to check with the manufacturer of your audio interface for more information. Now on to configuring and using Wave DX. Wave DX benefits greatly from speaking very close to the microphone to take advantage of the proximity effect. It has a built-in pop filter, so you don't need to worry about plosives with the microphone. Get up close and speak directly into the top of Wave DX for optimal results. In a comfortable speaking voice, try starting with 45 decibels of gain, and adjust from there. Wave DX has a flat sound profile that makes it an excellent platform for tuning and processing with audio effects in Elgato Wavelink. We have plenty of video tutorials covering audio effects to use and how to configure them, from noise gates to equalization to compression. We also have our very own Equalizer VST with handy presets available for free from Elgato.com. You can find links to these down in the video description. You're now all set up with Wave DX and ready to begin creating. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us on Elgato Workshop to learn how to get the most out of your Wave microphones and other Elgato products. Thanks for watching.